announcements, announcements, announcements. Pete's got another one, another one, another one. Pete's got another one. He's got them all the time. Pete. Ugh. Brian, it's Thursday. Thursday is right. You know episode, what that means. Episode, uh, what? 38. Four. 17,000. Episode number 34 out of 1 million. Here on Kids Side 2. The web, you didn't, you were supposed to say. Go I'm going to say go. Oh. I was just trying to get The web page. Thank you. Good morning, Internet! Well, that was good. I, was, uh, I heard one. I heard one. Yeah, I heard something. I'm Pete. I'm Brian. And today is Special Event Thursday. Special Event. That's we have right. a great story we for do. you today. We, we, have, we have a, a great song. We have a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff we're doing. And I just, I have to bring it up again. I know I'm saying every day, but we had this special event a week ago that started a big one race week ago. with Barry, to be Jerry, one... and Bruce. It was just supposed, it was supposed to be, to be one, day. one day, and now and, it's a week so, so far. Right, and, and, wait, I just heard that we have contact. We've made contact see with Jerry Jingles, and so we have to cut right, right to Jerry right Jingles. We got to cut live he's, he's, to see what's going on with Jerry Jingles away. and the race. Right, here we go, here Jerry, go. Jerry Jingles. Jingles. I just made it to Graham Sensor Station. I think that's what it's called. I got lost on a train for about like six days or so. I, I fell asleep on one and I woke up on another one. I don't know how it happened, but I'm here now. Only a couple days short. I'm going to beat. I don't know where the other two fellas are, but I'm going to beat them. <laughs> See you later. Oh, he made it. He did. All right, he's so, way uh, behind. He's, he's, he's a about, couple days behind he's the leader. About 40 Barry, hours or so. But we lost Mr. contact Barry with everyone else again. And I'm sure that uh, our cameraman will lose contact I think it's because our reception isn't, like, Jerry. there's so many big buildings that we're losing the satellite I think connections. It's a GPS, you know, the GPS. Yeah, something problem. like that. So, anyway, uh, so what else what do we what have? What do we, got, what do we got to do? So, we're going to sing a camp we song. Have, we have this camp song. Let's teach a high five real oh, quick. Let's teach a high five. This is a new, a brand new segment that we call it's called Brian and Pete Teach High Fives. High fives. And this one is how they so high really, five. You know, this is, well, let's do so a normal, normal. normal yeah. high five. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's wait, no, wait. Well, let's do the slow motion. Okay, and now we're going to teach how farmers high five. Yep. Ready? Moo 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 moo, moo 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 moo. And it? there is how like a this. farmer Don't teaches moo. high five. Moo 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 moo. Because moo 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 moo. moo. Okay. Yeah, that's our farmers high five. But we're gonna sing a song that I learned originally at Springfield College, Springfield where I College. went to school. Yeah. Um, and it's called "Hey All You Springfield Fans." But you can change. Hey, all you Springfield fans to anything else that you want. So it could be like, hey, all you Kids Sight 2 fans. Hey, all you goofy, Godzilla fans. Goofy, Luffy, Moofy fans. Whatever hey, you want. Hey, all you hair band fans. All right, so it's basically a call and response. And the response that you'll be doing is just clapping, stomping, or dancing. All right? So it goes like this. Well, for for the sake of us being on Kids Sight 2, we'll say, hey, all you Kids Sight 2 fans. Excellent. All right? Because so, I didn't go to Springfield College. So, hey, all you Kids Sight 2 fans, let me see you clap your hands. <laughs> now that you got the beat, let me see you stomp your feet. Now that you're in the groove, let me see your body move. Ah, ooh, ah, 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 ooh, ah, ah, ah. All right, let's try that one more time because it looked like Pete had a little bit of trouble getting those claps. So the clap is pretty easy. When your claps down. You hear that echo? Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> all right. Hey, all you Springfield. Uh, I see, I was going to say Springfield. Yeah, you did. They're, they're, Springfield. they're not Springfield fans. Hey, all you Kids Like 2 fans, let me see you clap your hands. <laughs> now that you've got the beat, let me see you stomp your feet. Now that you're in the groove, let me see your body move. Ah, 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 ah. All right, well, that 
is a great Hey All You Kids I Two fans. That's awesome. All right, well, let's go right to our special event, which Ooh. is uh, a, a on-site... A, an on-site pumpkin patch on-site picking. On-site pumpkin patch, pumpkin picking, wow. just for this week, because we That's know that tomorrow is Halloween. Ooh. And so we will see you guys on Friday. Have an excellent Thursday, and Absolutely. enjoy this story for Brian... And Pete on KidSite 2, the webpage. Have a great one. Hi, this is Pete at Pumpkin Seed Hill in Shelton, Connecticut, and I'm picking out a pumpkin. This one looks good. Oh. I don't even know where to start here. So many choices. Now this really is one of the a perfect pumpkin. Look at this. It's nice and round and fat. It's just a little small. You know, I want to make a good jack-o'-lantern out of this. I'm not going to have a lot of seeds in this one either, so I'm going to have to throw this one back. Hi, this is Pete at Pumpkin Seed Hill. And this pumpkin doesn't have a stem, so it's no good. Hill and I'm looking for the perfect pumpkin and this is not a pumpkin. I think I can carve a face into this. How about that one? What is this? What? Well, I've decided that none of these, none of these are good enough for me to carve a face into. So I'm going to have to keep looking. Oh, oh the pumpkins are, oh I'm in the wrong area. Hi, this is Pete at uh, Pumpkin Seed Hill, <laughs> and uh, I think I really like this pumpkin. You know, what I was thinking is that I was looking for the perfect pumpkin, and and there is no such thing as the perfect pumpkin. They all have their little differences, and they're all going to be a little misshapen. But this one right here, I think this is it. I think we can carve a nice face right in here, get a lot of good seeds out of this. So. This is the one, I've decided. So, we will see you later from Pumpkin Seed Hill in Shelton, Connecticut. This is Pete, signing up.